Hi and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto. My name's Chris and it's fantastic to have you back with us for another video and today's video is all about XRP. I'm genuinely excited about everything that's on the horizon for XRP. I think we are going to have the result from the SEC and Ripple lawsuit you know, very soon and I'm really excited about all the stuff that I'm seeing out of the sort of ripple camp and uh, it leads me to feel very very confident and in today's video I'm going to sort of cover all my thoughts and opinions a little bit about price discovery and where I expect the price to go so price prediction and all that sort of wonderful stuff if you enjoy this sort of content and you wish to support the channel mash up the like button, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, tap in that bell, selecting all the notifications so you never miss a video. Right, let's get down to the desktop. Okay, so we're going to start here on coin market cap. Now the total uh, market cap of all crypto is over a billion still, which is fantastic. XRP ranks sixth by market cap at 0.4008, up 0.66% in the last 24 hours. And um, look, let's sort of dig into some of the smaller stuff before we get into the bigger and more juicy stuff. And we've got uh, Monterigo's central bank teams up with Ripple on digital currency pilot project. Again, this is for me is bullish we've seen ripple continue to expand around the world even with the lawsuit with the sec going on behind closed doors well, i say behind closed doors is going on you know behind the scenes and um yeah i think this is really really bullish a lot of projects they just stop they come to ground to a halt until they get the the decision uh we haven't seen that with ripple and i think that is like you know a big play from ripple and shows how confident they are um, but yeah, look, more more banks getting involved. And um, this for me, again, is just fantastic to be seeing. And uh, I think we're going to see more of it. We've got Ripple announces or Ripple Labs has announced a new president. And uh, this is uh, Monica Long, uh, the firm's senior vice president and general manager will be promoted to president as uh, stated by Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse. Even in the current uh, challenging crypto environment, Monica has helped guide Ripple to a very unique place of growth and financial strength. She has been instrumental uh, advisor to me over the years, and I'm grateful to have the opportunity to partner with her more closely as she embarks on her new role as president. So again, I think that, you know, maybe a fresh start in a way you know new leadership people coming in i think this has got to be a really really positive thing let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below don't forget to jump in the discord it's absolutely free link is in the description of the video over 4,600 people supporting one another navigate the space safely definitely worth checking that out let's get into the q4 2022 xrp markets report so this for me was really interesting. Again, some very notable things to sort of take away here. We've got the on-demand liquidity, the ODL ripples, triple, uh, crypto, if I can get my words out, enabled cross-border payment solution launched, uh, launched in France, Sweden and Africa and is now in nearly 40 payout markets. So for me, that is, again, really, really bullish and goes to show the, the strength and the expansion that we've seen from Ripple, even with everything going on with the SEC. I think this is really, really bullish. Now, the other thing that they've got here is uh, they've released the first phase of the Ethereum virtual machine, the EVM sidechain for the uh, XRPL, which is the XRP ledger. And uh, that's on the DevNet, which allows DeFi applications and, uh, well, sorry, DeFi applications like Uniswap Aave and Compound to easily launch on the XRP L. So look, why is that important and why is that such a big thing? Well, you know, TVL is something that, you know, is really important to a lot of people that are looking to invest in projects. Now, what I would say is, you know, everybody looks at um, Ripple and XRP and the XRP L as, you know, just a payments system. And it's far more than that. There are gaming projects building on the ecosystem. You've got um, 
metaverse and many many others so you know dexes all that sort of stuff so there is far more to the xrpl than people really realize and uh you know depending on how some of these projects are set up on the xrpl it could impact the price of xrp depending on you know how it's all set up so i think this is really bullish um total xrp sales by ripple net uh of purchases were uh 20 uh two sorry i i, I can't talk today 226.31 million versus the 310.68 million in the previous quarter so again they are selling less xrp again another positive in my opinion so um moving on and uh, this was what really got me ultra bullish when it came to to ripple and you know the likelihood of an update from you know the the ripple uh, lawsuit with the SEC and you know it it does fill me with confidence seeing how confident ripple seemed to be after 2 years of fighting this lawsuit on behalf of the entire crypto industry and the american innovation the case is fully briefed and ripple is proud of its defense and feels more confident than ever as it awaits the judge decision so look this for me is a very big statement and uh, i want to know your thoughts and opinions on the statement so let me know in the comments below but you know this this is a very stern message to the sec that wow like we've done a, a great job and uh you know i think that it's a real big player move to 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 do this and you know i think a lot of projects in the space will you know have to I, I think they should show gratitude to, to towards Ripple for fighting it like they have and, and not just caving in and just paying a fine like most other projects do. And that's not, you know, a dig uh, any other projects. I think this is a, a funding um, issue when it comes to fighting the SEC. But, you know, I think the SEC picked a, a company like Ripple that, you know, has deep pockets and, you know, has the means to, to really put up a good defense. So I think they uh, messed up you know massively here and uh, i'm really excited to see what happens now i've always kind of said i've i kind of felt like there was always going to be a settlement uh, and i believe that ripple have been you know open to, to to having a settlement but i guess there's some caveats there and they haven't been uh, well received from the sec so that hasn't happened so now i think it's win or lose i don't think there is an opportunity for a settlement so i think we're going to find out very soon you know whether ripple have managed to you know been successful in their defense so this is going to be interesting the other thing to mention though is ripple have had i guess a little bit of a an additional win um if we have a look here the uh us securities and exchange commission has settled its lawsuit against library inc and accepts that the token in itself is not a security attorney john deaton cited a paper by uh, contract attorney uh, lewis cohen and persuaded the judge that secondary market transactions of lbc were not securities experts in the xrp community believe the sec's remarks could help ensure ripple's win in the lawsuit brought by the financial regulator and look on the face of it I think so too and like I tried to cover this on the podcast and that went out this morning um, but I really do think that this is worth a follow-up video on XRP because I do think that this is something that the SEC have completely messed up on I think that you know everybody was kind of looking at this library like it was a bad situation and actually you know uh, Bob selling uh, library token LBC to to John uh, that isn't classed as a, a security. And one thing that I would say is, you know, we have seen some some huge price discovery when it comes to to the library token, right? We've now seen this up sixty five percent. And this brings me on to to talk about XRP. What do we believe XRP's price is likely to be if the SEC, you know, does uh, lose the case to Ripple? Or Ripple is, um, you know, loses the case, but it's deemed not a security in some way, because that could, it, you know, could happen in my opinion. It could be a possibility. Where do we see this price going? Is it going to go to a dollar? That's my question to you. Could we see a dollar within the next few months? If you enjoy this sort of content and you wish to support the channel, mash up the like button, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, tap in that bell, selecting all the notifications so you never miss a video and I will catch you in the next one. Take care.